stuff live in the middle of nowhere and today I'm going to be updating the sink on my 2011 Mustang GT. So that's Sav. What are you doing? Weirdo. Let's walk on the corner of my head. Hot tub. Never walk in the center of these things. Just walk on the corner. Alright, so it's for that. So on here, I've got 4.6. But I'm going to jump to the computer. Because, well, that's where it is. Okay, so where you're going to go is help.ford.com forward slash update dash sync forward slash. You're going to enter in your VIN number. You're not going to see mine here, obviously. And then you're going to click check for updates. Okay, you can see mine's a 2011 Ford Mustang GT, and it will be updated to Sync 4.6. Okay, you can do it Wi-Fi, but you need Sync 3 required. I don't think the Mustang has that, so that's not an option for me. You can do it. I don't advise it because Wi-Fi, things always mess up. Do you really want to take that chance? It mess up halfway in the next new, it doesn't want to update ever again. Then you'll have to like go to a dealer, which is to reset a stock, but you can get them to do it, which is, is unnecessary. They, they'll charge you an hourly rate and it's not cheap. You're looking at a hundred bucks to do like literally something so simple or get a flash drive. Flash drives are cheap, cheaper than actually going to the dealer. And then you can use it for later on. Okay. You're going to need your flash drive, at least eight gigs. I've got my 16 gig Sony. You're going to need your VIN number every now and then it's going to reboot 69 seconds. And it'll take about 30 35 minutes to do. I'm on Windows, not Mac. So, Mac, this is how you do it. You just, you know, it's pretty simple. Your reformatting system, okay? So, I'm going to bring this over because I'm doing w Windows. So, you're in your, so you would click here down at the bottom. That's called the Windows Explorer. You go to your drive that you're going to format format it to a file system xfat obviously like it says click start i don't need to because i've already done it so i'll move this back out of the way you're going to go click on prepare sync download okay you're going to click it and we're going to wait oh get out of the way get out of the way oh, there we go i'm going to cancel it because i already have one you see that's why there's a bracket it means it's a copy there we go. <laughs> so you're going to see all these files. This is an example. Okay. The auto install dot IST is the important one. Uh, the sync ride things <clears throat> are also an example as well. The one thing I forgot to mention right here. Okay. So I don't have a sync three. So it's X fat for sync three, but other sync versions need format fat 32 okay so i actually screwed up with this so all this here is useless to me where it is so i have to cut that out and put it to a new folder which i am not going to show you because well my personal privacy is my personal privacy so new folder okay then i go back to the pc and now i'm going to format it in XFAT or not XFAT, uh, FAT32 and just standard it'll do it quick done all right now I take the folder that I was just in take that and put it in there All right, now I'm ready to go. Get rid of that and back outside. So I'm in here, okay, and it's been running and that's doing that. Well, it's doing nothing, okay? So it's because I don't have that don't in dx.msa file, okay? So I'm going to go to my media, go to the settings, and I'm going to, there's an install button right here. It says to begin installation. I'm installing file. 
Let's see how it's Installation rebooting. Installation complete. The system will now reboot. Please wait a few moments before trying to use the system. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. And uh, yeah, just chill out. Installation complete. Okay, so it just gave me your sync system update is completed and then goes installation complete. It literally got rid of the sound, the uh, the media, and the radio. Like, I couldn't use those. They were saying they weren't working. So, I'm wondering now if all the things are going right. So, I'm going to check my map. I'm going to take all, so I'll take this out. Because here I was freaking out thinking, okay, that's done. Now I'm just going to go to my map and I'm not going to show you. So that's all it is. I literally plug it in. Uh, if you don't have that file, you have to go to media. Oh, really? Re see, okay, now we have an issue. I'm going to turn off my car. Oh, well, that's fucking awesome. Alright, so I had a good, uh, oh my god, it was not working, but now it's actually working again. These expert editorial Radio. It's whatever. And the sound piece is working, okay. That's good. I, I literally turned it off, opened my door, and it worked. I started working again, okay. I'm hoping that's everything. So let's go to menu, you know what, map. Yeah, so I'm technically, uh, I'm up there. But we're gonna go to one kilometer. No, maybe ten. Let's see, oh, that's Strathmore. I don't want to go to Strathmore. I'm going right here. I'm trying to find it. See, that's the one. Okay. Now, there's the airport. Country Hills Boulevard. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so it is showing it. That's a, There's a dotted line, a little faintly dotted line. That is the Sony Trail. So that's pretty much what you're after. You know, that's good enough for me, as long as it shows that bit. So, I am done. So, there we go. That's me. I'm Duff. Live in the middle of nowhere. That's updating your Mustang. That's manual mode. Because if you don't have that one file, you have to literally go into you, your user settings. And then just press install. There, I'll do it again. I'll even show you. Second time. Go here, settings. There would be the install. Let's check the system information. Okay, it is what it is. Go back. You can sync reboot. Factory defaults if you wanted to. And autoplay and all that other stuff. I hear on the radio. Freaking uh, zombie by cranberries. See, even though I had it off. Listen. Let's go to media. So here, I'll, uh, that's the speaker. I can hear it because it's on the radio. Okay. Anyways. There we go. That's it. Note, you'll have to add in any Bluetooth devices or stuff like that, because that's what I had to do. So, just note that. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And, yeah. I don't want to try new things. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.